word problems. In high school, we all dread the occasional homework or test question that involves a word problem. And once you get to college, nearly all science problems are word problems. So the question is, is there a way to simplify these evil little paragraphs? Is there some way to break them down in order to solve them properly? Well, there is. And here's the kicker. This method doesn't apply only to word problems. This is a problem-solving strategy that applies anywhere and everywhere. Physics problems, chemical reactions, statistics. Just follow these five steps and you can't lose. The first step is to draw a picture. Nearly everyone on Earth can more easily solve problems if they have some sort of visual aid. In physics, you may need to draw a picture of the situation, follow it up with a free body diagram and a force diagram. In chemistry, writing out the chemical reaction is as good as drawing a picture of the reaction itself. When it comes to math, you may need to draw a table. These are all effective pictures of the situation described by the problem. The second step is to write down what you know. That is, write down all the information that you are given in the word problem. Simply making a column with known at the top will aid you in organizing the information given to you in the problem. And this is tied closely to step number three. Write down what the problem is asking for, or write down what you don't know. You can simply write this next to the known column and label it unknown. Again, this is an effective organizational tool and along with your picture, you can begin to visualize the direction your method needs to take. So this leads us to the fourth step. Write down all relevant equations. You may not even need all of them, but seeing it on paper with your organized data and your picture can help your brain click on the proper direction you need to take to solve the problem. The last step puts it all together. Step five is to solve the problem. You can see what is going on. All the information is organized in front of you. You know what it is you are looking for and you have the equations to be used. Just plug in the data and solve the problem. And that is the five step problem solving strategy. Step one, draw a picture. Step two, write down what you know. Step three, write down what you don't know. Step four, write down all relevant equations. And step five, solve the problem. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video. To further distill your mind, click the subscribe button. To keep these videos coming, be a master distiller and become a patron. Stay curious, people. Created using Powtoon.